been a good trip. Okay, so most of what we do at Black Hills Institute is work for other museums. And so these are, this particular guy here is going to a museum in Korea, it's a cast of Stan. Obviously the legs and one foot. The other toes are upstairs, there's you know, shoulder blades and the foot below the wishbone. There's you know, parts of the tail land here, there's stuff back there in the paint room, there's a skull. We can kind of walk wild past that so you can see it. Um, then there's a, a Triceratops, this is a cast of Lane. The original is at the Museum of Houston, Texas, and uh, uh, Lane's going to go on exhibit in a, for a special exhibit in Japan uh, for, uh, this summer, hopefully. And uh, then there's a Notosaur, a uh, Dendrosaurus. I'm not sure where the skull is, I guess it's being packed. You'll see that over there in a minute, too. So those are the, we call the, the neck rings, so they're the armor. Uh, which covers the body, and that's the part that's over the neck. We don't have all the armor, but we try to put it on. And if you look up there, there's a bunch of ribs with, with armor on it, too. And with this particular specimen, it's, the specimen itself, uh, it's, it's the only skeleton, and it's not terribly good, and, and the preparation and restoration needed to do, so that's not terribly good either. And so having the nice scoops to put over some of these the ugly parts is a this kind of makes it look a lot better. It's a pretty cool looking uh, dinosaur when, it, when it's all put together. Um, so you can see there's a foot for the Triceratops. Um, there's a hand and, you know, the lower jaw. There's the skull sitting over here. Um, this, for you guys from Florida, anybody know what this is? Number three. Yes. <laughs> a good one. Wow. Yeah, it's a big one. This is, the original is in North Carolina. And it was, it's a composite, so it's, you know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is early Pleistocene. And uh, anyway, it's a pretty cool specimen. Um, this, uh, obviously it's not finished yet. <laughs> We're just mounting on the, uh, putting the tail, finishing the tail. Um, sloths, kangaroos, cats, and some other carnivores have chevrons on their tails. So, like a dinosaur, this is the chevron right here. So they're a very peculiar mammal, um, more uh, primitive in some ways. Um, you'll notice uh, on the necks of dinosaurs, they have cervical ribs. Mammals have those too, but they're always fused to their, to their vertebrae. And, and birds, most birds are fused also with cervical ribs. So vertebrae from the pelvis on up to the head had, had, had ribs. So when we ship stuff out, they all have to be in places that we can. So these are shipping brackets you can see here that just hold it in place and make it easy to pack. Um, these legs are way too long to pack in an eight-foot crate, and so they come apart right at the knee. There's a, anyway, a screw you can see here that, that uh, holds them in place. So you can, when we put the pelvis on this guy, we actually tip it forward to put the pelvis on so you don't have to lift the pelvis up there because it's pretty heavy with lots of steel. Um, you can kind of walk past this right paint room back here to do some paintings. But I don't know if any other Tyrannosaurus have them. Well, I haven't seen them on other Tyrannosaurus. So we're going to kind of go past here and be careful to walk you through. The lower jaws are over there. We have a, a little sky hook here, here to put this up because it's, you know, the mouth is about right here on it. So, uh, to lift this big heavy skull up, we, uh, we use a machine to And we'll do that.
that in the report that the museum is being put on exhibit. Ralph is creating the steel that's going to go behind the shoulder blades uh, of this. Uh, oh, I, 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 mis I, mis I misinformed you. It goes, it goes flat on this. Yes, you do. Yeah. So, sorry. Okay. All you find is a few scraps of uh, like we did. One, one horde of skull in the upper stuff and one perorsis nasal horn in the lowest stuff and one skeleton, only one perorsis skeleton was found in the, in the lower stuff, which uh, the lower head freak. And they, they have a, the Triceratops horridus gets, is a skull that's about seven feet long when it's a full adult. Triceratops horridus skull is about eight feet long when it's a full adult. Um, compare that to Taurosaurus, which is not a juvenile or an adult Triceratops horridus, uh, a Taurosaurus skull can get up to 10 feet in length. Yeah, and wow. the big crest on the back. Yep, yep. And uh, this is fully grown. It's not going to lose its, you know, lose its frill. It's not going to, you know, grow another two feet long. Um, anyway. Getting crazy for transport. We've got the thing. We got it scanned. We didn't get it molded, but we got it scanned. Oh, so do. Yeah. And we did high res scan, so should be able to make some good prints out of it. Mass Sites is, is going to be making some more. Most of the fossils in here are things that we collected, but not all of them. Of course, like this, this Leopleridon, this, this uh, uh, short ecclesiosaur from, yeah. from Russia. The original specimen is in, in Tokyo, and the specimen was. Um, the, the cast was made in Italy, so it's uh, pretty international. <laughs> um, this uh, Mosasaur here is from Kansas Chalk, Agra Chalk. It's pretty cool. There's lots of shark teeth around it. We have more of it, but the flippers are pretty much gone. We have most of the Chiba Pauls, some of the ribs, but the ribs have been bitten off a lot of them. You can see shark bites all over on the bones, including on the skull itself. And if you look really closely over on this corner, well, you can see there's a, a nice shark tooth here, and then all you can see is the root of a shark tooth here because the, the crown is actually buried in the bone. Mm -hmm. oh, and then um, there's an agilosaur, which is the ancestor of the mosasaurs. It, it had already gone back to the sea, but it still had pretty long limbs. <coughs> you see one of the, or two of the back limbs there, much larger than the, the mosasaur. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a mounted skeleton here. We will eventually, but. You know, so many fossils, so little time. <laughs> um, it's so, embarrassment of riches. <laughs> yeah. um, so there's a, a mineral exhibit in the other, that small room over there that has a, a lot of stuff. Well, one case of Black Hills materials and then kind of worldwide mineral, crystallized minerals. Um, local agates and that sort of thing there. A little bit of the history of the, of the uh, uh, mining and stuff in, in, in the Black Hills. Um, Black Hill still has some mining for, for Felsbar, and, and uh, I kind of think probably there'll be more, because there's some good lithium deposits and rare earths, niobium channel, and that sort of thing, uh, in, from pegmatites. Uh, this is the, the largest bone that was collected out of the Wapori so far. It's a Brachiosaurus femur. The Wapori is up by Devil's Tower. It's a spot that Eric, our weatherman here, was uh, 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 joined us for a couple of seasons up there. Um, uh, we have both shoulder girdles, we have half of the humerus. The humerus are even bigger than the femurs. Mm. Um, to give you an idea, this is a brachiosaur from Morocco, and not original humerus radius on the and foot. Um, that guy is uh, uh, Apisaurus, but it's still a brachiosaur. It's relative to this, this guy. Um, the small Allosaurus skeleton right here. It's actually the original skeleton, and it tells you a bit about it in there. Um, this is a cast of Big Al, which is an adult Allosaurus. 
there's uh, this cast here is baby Tony. This is also Morrison Formation, which is Upper Jurassic in age. And there's a cast of the way this, the, the specimen was actually found. The only thing that was missing was the end of the tail and it didn't have a skull. Like, almost all the skulls, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, we had, and then the end of the neck was, was or the neck was somewhat abbreviated. But yeah, it has all four limbs and foot feet and all kinds of cool things. Yeah. Um, this is a, an original Forosaurus skull that we had mounted as a Triceratops for many years until we really started, just really started looking into the differences. And this skull is this skull is, is, is about eight feet long, so and it's a, it's not a full grown adult. It still has open sutures, but there's clearly differences in the bones of these guys, including in the jugal and the quadra quadrate quadra jugal, even in the lower jaw. Uh, some differences that you can see ready, readily to get, separates it from Triceratops. Um, this is part of the way we found laying this we recorded this because here's the pelvis, but it's covered with skin. So this is a cast, but you can see the pelvis underneath, which is pretty cool. And there's, so this is an ilium, sacrum, other ilium, there's an ischium, there's caudal, tail, tail bones right there. And, uh, so this is kind of cool. Um, then we have a cast of Sue's skull, which was wonderful. Nick Pritzker, when he moved to California from Chicago, gave us that cast. He, uh, he helped to uh, put in money to purchase Sue when Sue went up to auction. So we got a cast that's spin. Oh, uh, yeah. Screwed up. But, oh, I'm wearing well, camouflage. It's... Hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking to get dinosaurs on the top of so. um, uh, This T-Rex cast skeleton you see here is a cast of MOR555, which is now called the Nation's Rex. It's one that's been mounted at the Smithsonian. Uh, this is uh, Andrew Wiley, also known as the chicken from hell. This is, uh, these are, we, we moved um, from the Jurassic, the Allosaurus and the Sauropod stuff, into the, the Upper Cretaceous. South Dakota, northwestern South Dakota is, is uh, very unique, and that's one of the few places in the world, also Montana, Wyoming, Eastern Wyoming, Eastern Montana, a little bit of a corner of the little bit of North Dakota have preserved the KPG boundary where the, the point in time where the dinosaurs became extinct. So these are really the last dinosaurs that were alive on Earth, the, the last species. Uh, we have a Triceratops we're going to hopefully be digging up pretty soon. That is within three meters of the boundary, which is really, really close. And I don't know if you've heard of this site in just, just north of the South Dakota border into North Dakota, where a place called Tanis, where we've, where a friend of mine, and fortunately I was able to be part of the, uh, the team who reported on this and uh, wrote papers on it, uh, a site called Tanis, where there was actually a, a site which is a, basically, when the asteroid hit the earth, it rang like a bell and it started tidal waves, quote, from many different points. And one traveled up this river up into uh, far eastern, far western North Dakota and drowned a bunch of fish and washed back out. And just as the, as the, the tectites from the, uh, from the asteroid impact were striking the ground, actually preserved in the gills of the fish. And it's a pretty cool sight. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's a snapshot. I mean, that's a perfect snapshot, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, there's, there's paddlefish and sturgeon, one bar was found from there, a turtle, uh, and some dinosaur stuff. Some ammonites were washed in from the seaway, and a, a couple of mosasaur bones all mixed in together in this whole thing from this, basically a tidal wave coming in. Um, anyway, just a fantastic sight. There's a little pachycephalosaur here. Of course, Badlands case, we've got really, really nice collection, but this is just a very tiny part of it. We've got lots of nice skeletons that eventually we want to put on exhibit. Um, you'll notice a lot of side paths around here. So uh, uh, over by uh, the old railroad site called Minicata, which is just east of Hot Springs, west of Hot Springs, there was a site that uh, was, they found lots and lots of side paths. It was actually Cycad like National Line for a while. The school of mines and Yale University went in with bulldozers and dug up all the cycads that thought they did. And so they kind of, the, the, 
has been defunct, but when they put in the new highway, they found some more. And uh, I and a guy from the Park Service in Santucci are trying to, to interest the Park Service into opening, you know, to, I mean, I said, I'll volunteer, go up there with the Bobcat, and I'll find you psychats in situ. Because <laughs> they found them when they were digging the highway. So we know exactly where that is, and we can go back and find more. That's a lot um, But anyway, they, that was, you know, no money for it right now. So, uh, even though it would be free, that part. <laughs> um, so at Montasaurus and Nectins, um, the most common of all the dinosaurs in the Hell Creek Formation. Uh, here's an original skull of Dendrosaurus, this notosaur. So that skeleton that was laying out there, this is, that's what the skull looks like. That's the original mm, skull. Beautiful skull. Um, this is a cast of one of the mummies, dinosaur mummies, and monsters. Oh, and this guy that uh, Charles Sternberg collected back in the 1800s. And this, there's one at the American Museum of Natural History, and this particular one is at the Sinkenberg Museum. And again, uh, uh, There's uh, some more dinosaur stuff here. Here's the T Rex exhibit showing puncture wounds and bite marks and stuff on bones. Uh, there's a, one of the shelves in this case has some of the baby stuff that we use to help create the, the baby lane that we're doing for this exhibit. Um, because of all of the controversy with Nanotrannosis and the juvenile T Rex, I put up an exhibit, or we put up an exhibit here, just kind of showing you that, you know, like for instance, these are all the claws from the thumb and from this finger that we have from Nano Tyrannus. These are what we have from T-Rex. And these are three hands from T-Rex, including Sue and uh, MOR5, or uh, MOR980, which is Pex Rex. The biggest hands we know, and there's one hand from, we have both, this specimen has both hands, and then the Dooley dinosaurs does too. Every last bone we have that we know of for Nano Tyrannus is bigger. Actually, not, not, uh, proportionally, but actually bigger than every hand bone we know from Tyrannosaurus rex. Mm -hmm. And lots so, more teeth in the jaws, different shaped teeth, uh, lots and lots of, there's like, skull alone has 47 different characters to tell you it's not right. a juvenile T-Rex. So you explained that well in the show with uh, Clayton Phipps, when he had found and, his new. Oh yeah, yeah we're, uh, we did it again because they got a bunch more work done on Joey, so we did another version, which will be probably the, when this season goes on. So Excellent. if Nano Tyrannus was actually supposed to be a juvenile T-Rex, that would mean that his hands would have had to have gotten smaller. Well, we think probably what they did was they shed their arms and hands <laughs> and blew <laughs> so It's a neat trick. As big as they were when they were small. Um, that's a, an original um, <coughs> Triceratops horn. Is, it has, interestingly, we, we did this as a touch fossil. Um, interestingly, it has all three horns that are are pathologic. There's a really, really old individual, Triceratops horridus. Um, the back of the frill is restored and the lower jaw is restored. Um, but uh, let's see then. First we have a cast of sand and we're going to go to the sand. Unfortunately, it's no longer here. It's an old but uh, we'll, we'll uh, be putting Duffy up. So we started work on cleaning up Duffy. There's a few parts of Duffy that are on exhibit in that T Rex case right there. Will be mounting the skeleton. It's not nearly as complete as stands, but. Um, and then Titanotherus, which you guys might recognize. Yeah. We just added these this year. Uh, that's Proboceratops and, and uh, Velociraptor. This is kind of like the fighting dinosaurs just before the capture. Yeah, the, yeah, you know, there, yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with that one. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. <laughs> And then uh, marine, uh, marine fossils from uh, mostly from, from this area, but also there's a, a, a Mastrichtian age uh, 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 long neck pieces sort of from Morocco. I can think of this name, Alaska. Alaska, sorry, yeah. All the way to the way to the probably to the boundary. And, um, and of course, local ammonites and ammonites in other places. Um, we have a huge collection of. Um, this is um, stuff we were digging up in the Badlands yesterday. Titanitheer. And 
uh, local ammonite stuff from the Green River. Uh, crinoid case. Um, Crinoids. Some of our Green River collection have a pretty large collection of Green River fossils. Well, that's Eocene, of course. And then local ammonites from the Pierce Shale and from Fox Hills Formation. And then fossil ammonites from around the world, crinoids, trilobites, all kinds of fun stuff. There's an original Smilodon, oh, I forgot to point out, there's an original Smilodon skeleton mounted up above the case, one that I collected in Peru, and then this is the skull of, of uh, one of the yeah, only associated skeletons. Terrible crocodile, yeah, that's pretty terrible. So, anybody have any questions before we go back to work? Anybody have any answers? <laughs> it's just overwhelming to take it all in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Right? Awesome. Yeah, I'll meet you over there around five. It says it's your reservation or so for five. Yeah. All right. Thank you.